Q&A video with some background gameplay for you guys. And really quick in the comments below, will you be there for tonight's awesome live stream? Obviously gameplay only, but I cannot wait in two hours. I cannot wait. But here is the Q&A plus some pre-recorded gameplay. Here we go. So first question is by JVM Vines. He asks, do you want to be able to do YouTube full time? And of course I do because that'd be amazing. If I didn't have a job and have to go here and there, here and there, I would actually be able to pump out like three to four videos for you guys. And not just random, you know, average, hi guys, I'm going to report the news. No, no, I'm talking about some great, awesome hit the music type videos, some blackjack gameplay, just some crazy nuclears daily. That's what I would do for you guys. But until then, yeah. <laughs> Next question is by Leonardo. Wait, wait Leonardo? I'm gonna call you Le Leonardo. <laughs> Five. How many subscribers do you feel like you would need to go full time on YouTube? Congrats on 30k subscribers. So thank you so much for the for the um, compliments. To go full time, honestly, I would be comfortable with around 200 to 300 thousand subscribers as long as we're getting about, I would say. 40,000 to 50,000 views a day, maybe 80 to 90,000 views a day around that time frame to be comfortable with going full time with YouTube. It's it's actually very scary to go full time with YouTube because you know one day you could be up here, next day you're just boom, people just abandon you. Like, <gasps> come back, come back. Yeah. <laughs> so third question is by JC Destroy Ya A. How long do you think it will take for you to get 1 million subscribers? Now honestly, my YouTube channel has been in a YouTube null right now, aka YouTube null is where you don't grow as fast as you normally do. And we've been stuck at 30,200 something for like the last week and a half. Um, honestly, once we get past that part and I'm able to get my videos recommended by YouTube, then we'll be able to take off very fast like hollow point. You know, maybe pull out some, you know, awesome SEL like Biblical Reaper, so on and so forth. But until then, I'm not really looking for a million subscribers. I, my first goal is 100K. And once we hit that, then we can move on to bigger goals. Gotta focus on the small stuff first, boys. Yeah. Fourth question is by Comarm Gaming. Q&A question. What are you most passionate about when you are doing YouTube or just in life in general? Two questions I see. Uh, with YouTube, I love bringing entertainment to you guys. I love bringing a new aspect of entertainment when it comes to gameplay. You know, I check out other YouTubers, and no one can compete with my type of editing slash content when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to editing, when it comes to music. I feel like I'm in my own boat. You know, I, I can't find one YouTuber who has the same style as me, which is good. And there are other YouTubers who are, who are as great as me, but a different style. AKA Chain Feeds, Elite Shot, and so on and so forth. Yes. Um, and in life, honestly, my passion for life is to help you guys out to uncover, discover the truth about our world, our society, our galaxy. Because, like I said, the truth is stranger than fiction, and just... Oh, man, I just... <laughs> Next question. By 2K OBO 6 God, how do you feel about you hitting 30,000 subscribers? Actually, it feels really amazing. I know my biggest goal is 50,000 subscribers because I had a previous Trinity GX from every said I couldn't hit 50K based on how my videos are. So that's my huge goal. He said, I'm like, yeah, I don't think you're gonna hit it. Well, that was like, what, a year ago? And we're at 30K, baby? 50K, let's go, let's go! Before we go on to the next question, I do wanna ask you guys, if you, if you want TGX to grow fast, I will need your help. If you're part of the True Trinity GX squad, you know, you, you have your notification turned on, or even if you just try to get to watch a video, even, you know, once every few days, as long as you're there and you don't judge my content by what I do, that, that you are a true TGX squad member. When I, on Twitter, when I say some members are fake, I, the fake ones are this. Oh, Trinity GX doing a domination game. Oh, he didn't get the nuclear. Unsubscribe. Oh, he's wearing his red hat unsubscribe oh he, I'm not him unsubscribe those are fake TGX members and you can see them in the comments once in a blue moon or they just disappear or they didn't want to give away so that they leave because they're immature or just stupid those are the fakes I'm talking about I know who they are they I know they unsubscribe because they didn't want to give away or because they don't get a shout out it is what it is but we got to focus on the positive training squad next question numero cinco I think five or six I don't know by Zane Foosh. 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 
<laughs> Are you ever going to make a video telling your lifelong story? Of course, I have a video in the making for a hundred thousand subscribers. It's actually going to be my full life story, and it's not a beautiful story. It's the actual truth of my perspective on my own life, summed up in about twenty, about ten to twenty minutes. And I cannot wait to have it finished for a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> Kevin Star, it's so funny. Here we go, number seven, by Mercenary Gamer. Did you ever get help from someone who started YouTube? If not, how did you get yourself started? Okay, here we go, I'm gonna answer this in like a minute. Honestly, I did not get any help. I had no birdies in my ear like some YouTubers. <laughs> but, <laughs> I hope you understand what I said. But I, I, I didn't get any help, I did, it's all trial and error. All trial and error. Um, I took tips from Allier. And some of the YouTubers have said, if you want to grow, you have to look at their previous videos of people who are already famous and popular on YouTube. That's what I did. And I saw a trend from SEO trends to huge trends. I'm not going to go over those trends because I put a lot of hard work into them. Just, yeah. But yeah, um, honestly, I didn't really get any help. Um, I just listened to other YouTubers and they said, hey, just go back on previous videos of other YouTubers and see what they're doing to grow. And when they took off fast, Pretty much do that, and that's what I'm gonna do come this November. Oh. Okay, here we go. Question number, I think eight. I'm not sure. By Alexander the Great, Alexander G. When did you start YouTube? Okay, here we go. So YouTube says I started March 26, 2014, something like that. But I honestly didn't start uploading and creating video for you guys until like March 2015, actually. Um, I know in August 27, 2015 is when I committed to you guys saying hey, I'm going to do at least one video a day and so on and so forth, but I've, I've only been on camera, like literally on camera for less than a year. That's crazy. And today, last year today, in 2015, July, we're only at 3,000 subscribers. Just saying. <laughs> That's awesome. We gained 27,000 in a year without any SEO help from anybody. Here we go. Next question is by MC Leg. 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 <laughs> Reve, good job on 30K. Thank you. Hashtag Reve QA. I love your content, so I would want to know how long does it take to make a video? Are some harder to film than others? Now, when it comes to filming, filming is the same all around. It's either shorter or longer. It's the editing. Now, when you see a basic video, like the video you guys just watched of um, the Liquid Divinium, that video took about an hour, hour and a half full from beginning to end to upload. But when you see a video like the blackjack video or a video that has like, you know, hit the music and it has the, you know, rage thing going or the in the zone thing going and it has like me jumping around all over the place and colorful special effects, those actually take about three to four hours because I have to go in, make sure it matches up, da 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 da, and then I have to rewatch it and then rewatch it again if I make an error or anything. So yeah, those take about three to four hours. My longest video took eight hours and that was a trailer for Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm actually, uh, I'll actually make I actually update it, yeah. But yeah, um next question is by good old HJH Focus. Where do you see yourself in a year's time? So from one year from now I see myself at I would honestly I don't know. I'm in the predicament to where I can either hit a hundred thousand by January if I hit the recommended page for YouTube, or I could hit a hundred thousand subscribers by July. But my goal is to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by Next year, I would say in May time frame. So yeah, um, honestly, in years, I'm still doing the same thing, but grinding and have, have way better quality videos, and hopefully on Twitch too. I definitely want to get on Twitch. Um, next question. Let's see, we got about three minutes. By B Bad Games, what's your favorite gun set? The VMP and Marshall. Marshall, P.S. You're the best. Thank you, bro. Favorite gun besides the VMP and Marshall? Oh man. Um, I still love the Vesper, even though it takes up too many attachments just to be very accurate, but I would say the Vesper. It just has a very high rate of fire. Um, now, if, this is just Black Ops 3. Now, if it's Call of Duty in general, I would go with the M4 because, you know, I, I own an M4 in real life. I use it in Afghanistan, and M4 would be my all-time favorite. Next question is by Kurt Rowe. What is your favorite Call of Duty, and what do you think of Infinite Warfare? I knew that question was coming. Favorite Call of Duty, hands down, Modern Warfare 2. I'm not going to go detail because I did last Q&A. But what do I think about Infinite Warfare? Now, I really don't have an opinion so much about multiplayer because we have no idea what's in multiplayer yet. We don't know if there's going to be boots on the ground or some type of thrust system. We don't know if there's going to be in space, space snaps jumping around on Mars and Pluto and, you know, Planet X. Nobody knows. 
So honestly, based off the campaign trailers, I think it's going to be... <laughs> I'm sorry Activision, but it's going to be kind of bad. But when, it, when multiplayer comes out this September at COD XP, I'll be able to give you my honest opinion then. But yeah, until then, I think multiplayer is going to be great. Um, honestly, uh, something that I really want to see in Infinite Warfare, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me for this, I might lose subscribers because of this if you made it this far in the video, is I really want noob tubes to return to Infinite Warfare because I love making people rage. Like, I know they're called noob tubes because it's newbie, but it's so fun, like, just hardcore, danger close, noob tubes? Oh, man, people just rage. You like, it's, it's, I hope. <laughs> okay, final question is by, uh, come on, pop up, Scott Reagan. Reagan, do you ever plan on opening an online store with TGX hats and shirts? Yeah, of course I do, but I cannot meet the supply and demand right now, like I say. Um, I'm probably going to shoot for next year, even though I'm not even sure, to be honest. Um, if a store does open up, I can tell you three hats to be for sale, red, blue, and maybe pink or purple, whatever y'all choose. And for shirts, I will be making custom like polo shirts like this with like this thingy on it. And I have a TGX symbol. I will make custom black t-shirts. And it will say, you know, Truth is Stranger the Fiction with a triangle or something. I can't wait. We're going to have an awesome clothing line come 2017. And it will be in full effect by 2018. Yeah, or the end of 2017. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. That's a long way away. It's always nice, Scoob. But yeah. But Trinity Squad, in the comments below, will you be there for the good old live stream of Black Ops 3? Like I said, there won't be no face cam, but we'll have some HD. Yeah, <laughs> it's your boy, Aaron Sano, Trinity GX, greatness redefines.